Sunday, April 12, 2015. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1983 Mercedes 240 Diesel. Today I'm picking up uh, where I left off last week with the differential. Basically, what I'm going to do right now is bolt the rear cover plate back onto it, um, and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to undo the four nuts holding the uh, differential to the uh, rear suspension subframe and then get the differential out. Once the differential is out of the car, then I'll be a I should be able to pull the drive shaft. So I'm gonna get to work now and I'll update you either as the day progresses or when I'm done working for the day. <sighs> Success. You can see here I actually finally have the drive shaft out of the car. Uh, my final strategy worked. Uh, that is, I uh, removed the differential in order to gain the clearance necessary to get the drive shaft out of the car. Uh, I'm going to go under the car and show you everything in a moment. But uh, now that this is out, I can uh, inspect the U joint and um, get the uh, get those splines unfrozen, replace the bearing and mount and uh, basically get this ready for reinstallation in the car. Uh, and if the U-joint's no good, I will probably end up using the drive shaft out of the 79. As you can see, the uh, drive shaft tunnel is clear now, and the differential is out of the car. There's the differential. It's out of the car now. Uh, like I said, uh, thankfully my strategy worked. I, uh, once I had it out of the way, I had all the clearance I needed to get the drive shaft out of the car. So, uh, that's where I am right now. I'm not going to do too much more today. I'm going to end the video here now. Uh, basically, my next step will be to remove the shocks and then the springs and, uh, once those are out, I can actually uh, remove the uh, trailing arms here and replace the bushings. I already have new ones ready to go. And once I have the uh, trailing arm bushings in and the trailing arms reinstalled, then I'm actually going to uh, remove the transmission and replace the clutch. And once the clutch and the clutch hydraulics are all taken care of, then I put everything under the car here back together. But that's where I am right now. Um, I'm very pleased with my progress today. Like I said, I'm going to try to free up a couple more things, but you know, other than that, that's where I am. So this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.